Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss about raw equivalent matrix method. In this video, first of all, I will discuss about basic concept of raw equivalent matrix method and how we are going to operate any numerical which is in which we are asked to solve the system of linear equation using the raw equivalent matrix. So without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, let's begin the solution of this problem and here we are asked to use raw equivalent matrices uh, to the system of equations and here we are provided with the three equations and using these equations in raw equivalent matrix method, we are going to form augmented matrix. Augmented matrix composed of the coefficient of these variables means here the coefficient of x is 1, 2, minus 3, 2, minus 1, 2 and plus 2, 3, minus 1, minus 4 and we will put two dot in the place of equals to and 9, uh, 8, minus 8 and 3. Uh, the augmented matrix of these given equations will be of this manner. And now, while in order to solve or find the value of x, y and z using raw equivalent matrix method, we have to convert this get uh, convert this augmented matrix into the identity matrix means all the elements of the diagonal elements will be will become unity or one and remaining other elements will be zero in three by three matrix form and we will get some value uh, on the other side of these two dots and which will uh, I have represented it, it as P Q R and it will be the value value of X Y and Z simultaneously now whenever we are sol solving the matrix using uh, the raw equivalent matrix form we have to follow some pattern like uh, when we are solving the 3 by 3 matrix then we have to apply the operation in this manner w manner means first of all we need to check this element then this and then this then middle then here we have to proceed in this manner I hope you are getting if not it will be more clear when I start solving this numerical and there are few operations in raw equivalent matrix which we you must understand in order to solve any kind of numerical and this video is going to be very much helpful to clear your concept on raw equivalent matrix so let me present the uh, elementary raw operations to you in which we use while solving numerical on raw equivalent matrix method. So the first operation to solve the numerical using the raw equivalent matrix method is to interchange any two raw means we can change any two raw in this method and the second one is addition of one raw to another. Second operation is we can draw the elements of two raws uh, and the third operation is multiplication of any raw by a non-zero number either it is positive or negative but we can multiply it must not it must not be zero and we can do perform that operation and the fourth operation is multiplication of any two raws by a non-zero number and addition of the resulting raw to another this is frequently used operation in raw equivalent matrix method and uh, what it is saying that we can multiply any raw by any non-zero number and then after multiplying we will get some value or result then we we will use that result or add that result to another ma another raw to get some value and the main purpose is to get identity matrix we means we have to convert the diagonal element to unity and all the other elements above or below the principal, principal diagonal will be zero so how we can perform the solution of this numerical so let us begin with the solution here i am going to write here solution and the first line here is going to be here the augmented matrix here the a G U M E N T E D augmented matrix will be our augmented matrix is will be nothing just the coefficients of all the algebraic expressions so here we will have here 1 2 minus 3 2 minus 1 2 
थ्री माइनस वन माइनस फोर एंड पुट टू डॉट्स हेयर एंड राइट द एलिमेंट्स विच विच आर आफ्टर इक्वल्स टू सो नाइन माइनस एट एंड थ्री नाउ गाइज आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ टास्क हैव अ लुक टू द एलिमेंट्स दिस एलिमेंट टू एंड थ्री हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट दिस एलिमेंट जीरो सो दैट वी विल बी सम स्टेप्स क्लोज टू गेटिंग आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस लेट मी आंसर यू If we multiply this one by two, and if we subtract this two, subtract that a value or the result from this two, we will get zero. What I said, I am talking about raw two. So, talking about raw two, R two implies R two minus two R one. We are not doing any operation on R one, so I am going to rewrite the elements of R one as one, two, minus three, and nine. Now, what I said R two, R two. Rewrite the elements. I am going to use this portion as rough. So we have R two. R two is two. So two minus two R one means two times one. Two times one is going to be zero. So right here zero. Similarly, here we have minus one. So minus one, we will do this operation on every elements of R two. We are talking about R two. This operation will be performed in each and every element. So minus one, minus two times, and R one. R one is two. So on solving this, we will get minus five. Similarly, here we have two means R two is two minus two times R one. R one is minus three. So we will get here three times two and plus two and minus minus gets plus. So we will have here eight. So we will have here eight. Now minus eight minus eight R two is minus minus two mi minus eight is R two. So minus two times R one is nine. So nine times two and eight we will have minus twenty six. So here we will have minus twenty six. Apply the second operation also and second operation is going to be. R three implies R three minus three R one means what I said. R three implies R three minus three R one. So R three is going to be R three is three minus three times R one is one. Three times R one is one. So we will have here zero. Similarly, we have R three minus one. Times three into R one. R one is two. So we will have here, and here it is minus. So we will have here minus seven. So here we have minus seven. Similarly, if we do uh, talk about this minus four, so we have here minus four minus and three times minus three. We have plus nine minus four means plus. Five. We have here plus five. Now we have R three again. So R three is three minus three times R one is nine. So three minus twenty seven. So we will have here minus twenty four minus twenty four, and put a sign symbol here, and it is of this manner which represents equivalent. Now we will move to the second step. And uh, in second step, our main objective is to make this minus five as unity. So how we can make this minus five as unity? If we min multiply minus five with minus one by five, we will get one. So if we talk sequentially, then our third operation is for this minus five. That is, R two implies R two implies R two times minus one upon Five minus one upon five is non-zero number, so we can apply this operation. So we will have here. We are doing operation on second row. So I am going to rewrite the first row and the third row as it is. And here we will have one and eight upon five minus twenty-six upon multiplying by minus five, so it will get. Positive and it will get negative, and zero minus seven five 
minus 24 uh, if you remember i told you that we need to follow a pattern like we have to make the operation in this manner so now we have reached up to here we have made operation on up to here now we have reached here in this step so our next target is to make this element minus 7 as 0 so how we can make this minus 7 as 0 let me show you so we have to make this 0 and what if i make operation on r3 as r3 plus 7 r2 r3 plus 7 r2 if i do operation as r3 means minus 7 plus 7 times r2 is 1 so on solving this we will get 0 so it means we can do this operation so we are doing operation on r3 so i am going to rewrite the elements of r1 and r2 as it is so we have here 1 2 minus 3 9 0 1 minus 8 upon 5 and 26 upon 5 0 0 and now we have to do the sum calculation here r3 means 5 plus 7 times r2 means minus 8 upon 5 on solving this we will get uh, we need to do the LCM here so we will have here 5 5 times 5 minus 7 times 8 on doing solving this we will get minus 31 upon 5 so write it here minus 31 upon 5 and equals to and again uh, on solving on applying the similar operation that is r3 means minus 24 plus 7 times r2 is 26 upon 5 then on solving this we will get 62 upon 5 now our next target is to make this element as unity so if we multiply this by 5 minus 5 upon 32 what i said r3 implies r3 we have reached up to here now see here now we are doing the operation here so r3 implies r3 times minus 5 upon 31 we are simply multiplying this minus 31 upon 5 by minus 31 upon 5 is multiplied by minus 5 upon 31 so here we will get 0 sorry 1 so rewrite the elements of raw 1 and 2 as it is because we are doing operation on r3 so 1 2 minus 3 9 0 1 minus 8 by 5 26 by 5 0 0 1 and 62 by 5 62 by 5 is multiplied by minus 5 upon 31 we will get minus 2 so here we will have minus 2 now we have to do, do the next operation and we have to make this element as 0 so how we can make this element 0 if we multiply this 1 by 8 by 5 and add this after adding the res and adding the result to r2 we will get the uh, get this element as 0 so what i said r2 implies r2 plus 8 by 5 times r3 see here what i said r2 means uh, here let's talk about this one so r2 is 1 plus 8 by 5 times r3 is 0 so we will get is as 0 similarly we have minus 8 by 5 plus 8 by 5 times 1 is going to be 0 so rewrite uh, now uh, write the answer here we are doing operation on r2 so rewrite as it is uh, raw 1 and 3 0 1 0 here i need to do calculation minus 2 now here we have 26 upon 5 plus 8 by 5 times r3 is minus 2 so 
26 by 5 plus 8 by 5 upon minus 2 means we have 10 upon 5 is going to be 2. So, we got it as 2. So, now we have to do make it as 0 because we have reached up to here. We have reached sorry we have reached here now we have to make this element 0. So, let me use the another page. So, uh, we have to make this element as 0. If I multiply this by 3, r3 by 3 and add this to r1, we will get 0. So, that's, that is what I am doing here. r1 implies r1 plus 3 r3. So, we are doing operation on r1. So, I am going to rewrite uh, it, uh, rewrite the raw element of raw 2 and 3 as it is. Now, what I said, uh, we are doing R1 plus 3 times R3 means 1 plus 3 times R3 is 0. So, 0 we will get 1 as it is and here we have uh, 2 plus 3 times 0 is 2 as it is. Now, here we have minus 3 plus 3 times 1 is going to be 0. So, we got this element as 0. Now, here we have 9 plus 3 times minus 2 means we will get here 3. Now, we have to make this 2 as 0. How we can do this? Now, if we multiply this r2 by 2 and subtract here, then we will get it as 0. So, what I said r1 implies r1 minus 2 r2. We are doing operation on r1. So, rewrite the elements of R2 and R3 as it is. It is going to be 1. This will get 0. How? See here. We are subtracting. So, 2 minus 2 times R2 is 1. It gets 0. So, it is. it will also get 0. And 3 minus 2 times R2 means 2 we will get here minus 1. So, this is going to be minus 1. This minus 1, 2 and minus 2 are the value of x, y and z. So, we have x equals to minus 1, y equals to 2 and z equals to minus 2. Uh, you will have the one uh, solution, one more solution link in the description. So, do visit that video also uh, which will be on may be based upon the same method. So, see you in the next video and do not forget to subscribe Civil Learning online channel and this is Civil Learning Hindi channel. You can visit both. Uh, so, till then stay safe and take care of yourself.